some really this uh, is new anchor new Sarah uh, Sander Israeli listen Israeli Prime Minister spokesman just confirmed babies and toddlers were found with their heads listen. decapitated in Kafar Aza in southern Israel after Hamas attacks in the kibbutz over the weekend that has been confirmed um, by the prime minister's office let us go now to cnn's Hadal. she said confirmed right and then look at what she released this is her full statement this is the full statement and then she said i'm sorry that is not enough saying i'm sorry on twitter is not enough these media companies should not be able to get away with lying on national TV to millions of people all over the world and then retracting their statements online where nobody's going to pay attention. Please tag CNN. It's just not true, though. No, it's not true at all. There's no evidence for any of it. I hate to break it to you, but like, Israel officials can't even confirm it. There's no evidence. They've contradicted themselves. They said it was true, and then they took it back. <laughs> and, and, and Biden said he saw it, and then he took it back because it wasn't true. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, look, everybody retracted it because there's no evidence, right? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. The Western media is lying to you about the Palestinian resistance. And thanks to social media, we're able to catch them and call them out and force them to retract their anti-Palestinian statements. Sarah Sidner, who falsely made this claim on television, retracted her statement. The problem is the damage was already done. Journalists have a duty to ensure that the information that they're getting actually has evidence to back up the claim. Because right now, Sarah Sidner has Palestinian blood on her hands for falsely reporting this. Every single journalist that has spread these lies about Palestinians and Palestinian resistance has Palestinian blood on their hands. We will not forget this. And these people will be remembered for assisting in the genocide of the Palestinian people. As always, free Palestine.